Hey guys, this is Susie Kim with On Game Net Global. I'm standing here with the head coach of Samsung. Hello, how are you? Can you uh, maybe? 안녕하세요. 삼성 갤럭시의 최윤상 감독입니다. Okay, he is the the head coach, and he takes care of both white and blue, who right now are the best teams. I think. Do you agree that they're they're very good teams? <laughs> 예, 두팀다 좋은 팀인 거는 예. 동의하는데요. 아직 최고의 팀은 결국은 롤드컵 우승 팀이라고 생각합니다. He says, I know they're both pretty good, but you know what? The best team is going to be whoever wins the world championships. Now, how did you get both teams to be so good? They, starting from spring of 2014, both teams have just been getting to the finals. They're just doing so well. What do you feed them? 어, 이거는 회사에서 지원을 해주셔서 된 부분이 크거든요. 왜냐하면 다른 팀들과 달리 제가 삼성 초창기부터 전담 코치제를 회사 요청을 드렸고요. 그렇기 때문에 타 팀보다 아마 감독 코치진 포함해서 그 코치진의 수가 현재는 제일 많다고 알고 있어요. 그래서 블루 팀을 담당하는 전담 코치, 화이트 팀을 담당하는 전담 코치, 그리고 연습생을 담당하는 전담 코치가 따로 있습니다. He says it, he thinks it attests to the company itself because the company he had he's been with the with Samsung for a while and he had told them that they need better coaches and so each team white blue and their practice team they all have separate coaches that take care of them on top of the you know coaches that take care of the players and their game plan and stuff like that so he thinks that's where it attests to I think he's feeding them something though well 특별히 비기는 건 없어요 잘 알아 그냥 회사에서 지원해 주실 아 이거 이거는 빼야 될것 같아요. 그냥, 아, 그냥 농담으로 그냥, 해주세요. 예, 그냥 뭐 아줌마가 음식을 주시고 식사 아쉽게. 식사해 주실 이모님이 계시는데 워낙 맛있게 해 주셔가지고 가면 갈수록 선수들이 쪄가는 것 같아요. <웃음> He says there's a lady who makes food for the the teams and uh, you know very very good food and he feels that actually maybe his team his uh, members are actually getting a little plump from that because they're just eating so well. Now. You said there's an importance of coaches. Uh, if you could give an advice to the Western coaches, what would it be? 일단 요즘에 보면 뭐 기본적인 운영이나 이런 건별 차이가 없다고 생각을 하고요. 제가 볼 때는 전담 코치제를 통한 우리의 장점이 지금 발현되는 그 혜택을 저희가 좀 빨리 누리는 것 같아요. 다른 팀들도 이런 전담 코치제를 각 팀마다 하게 된다면 조금씩 늘지 않을까요? 물론 해외 팀 같은 경우에는 한, 한개 팀씩 있기 때문에 그 선수들을 어떻게 운영하는 거에 대해서 차이는 있겠지만요. Okay, he feels that um, in terms of strategy, there's not that big of a difference. But Korea initially has started to do um, have coaches actually live in and really take care of the players. Um, manage what they're doing all the time and he feels that that has definitely made a difference and um, I mean for them they have three different teams that they have to manage but for the Western teams they only have one and he feels that once you have someone who's in the house with them to really take care of ev their everyday you know interactions that's a very big benefit to them okay um, well then when you're creating a team because you've been a coach for a long time what's some what are the standards that you look for in a good player? 어 이거는 제가 이롤 감독을 맡았을 때부터 하나의 기준입니다. 패기를 봅니다. 패기. 예 여기서 패기라는 거는 그 교전 시에 뒤로 빼는 무빙을 하는 선수가 아니라 그 상대의 그 사거리 안에서 안 무빙을 할수 있는 그러니까 용기를 지닌 패기를 말 말하는 거고요. 예를 들자면 5대 5로 교전이 붙었는데 뭐두 명은 앞에서 싸우려고 하고 세 명은 뒤로 빼는 액션을 취한다면 실제 전쟁이라고 가정했을 때도 네. 전투 시에 무조건 질 거예요. 아. 그러니까 다섯 명이 모두가 한타가 벌어지면 빼자고 했을 때는 다섯 명이 다 빼고 음. 싸우자라고 한 명이 오더를 했을 때는 다섯 명이 다그 전투에 뛰어들 수 있는 패기가 가장 중요하다고 생각합니다. 그래서 어, 선수들 대부분 뽑을 때는 무조건 패기를 제일 먼저 보고요. 그 혜택을 누린 선수가 아마 뭐 인프, 데프트 선수가 아닐까 생각합니다. Um, so he says the first thing he looks for in a player is it, it's a Korean word called peggy, which is a combination of 
being brave, ambitious, and confident. And um, for example, he was he was saying and and can follow orders, and they're they're really willing to to do everything for the team. So basically, he'll he'll take a look at how they play. Um, a group fight and basically as if they're in war if you know one person says hey we need to get out right now he, he wants to make sure that no matter what they'll be able to drop what they're doing and get out of there he doesn't want it to be split where some people kind of linger and he wants to know that they are able to take that kind of order and uh, initiative to to follow direction and so that's one of the main things that he looks for um, he feels that imp and deft uh, do that very well and uh, you know those are the kind of key players that that he has on his team. Okay, um, so thank you. That's actually really good information for you know future team owners. Uh, as your team has been here in Taiwan, has there been any episodes or, or, or is the food okay for them? I know some Koreans, you know, don't like to eat strange things. 여기 사실은 첫날에는 이 근처에 음식점이 어디였는지 몰라서 굉장히 헤맸습니다. 그래서 그 프론트 분들하고 근처를 돌아다니면서 한국 식당들도 알아두고요. 한인 마트도 알아놨죠. 오. 그래서 음식들을 선수한테 공수하기도 했는데요. 좀 우스운 거는 또 며칠 먹다 보니까는 다른 음식도 먹고 싶다네요. 그래서 <웃음> 결국은 또뭐 KFC 가서 치킨도 <웃음> 사서 먹고요. 네. 근데 오늘 낮에 좀 웃긴 거는 저희가 그 좋은 근사한 호텔에서 머물고 있잖아요. 라이스 지원해 주러 가지고 그런데 점심이 아마 되게 근사한 뷔페에서 예, 먹은 걸로 아는데 정작 선수들은 자기 입맛에 안 맞나 봐요. 예, 저랑 몇뭐 업무 코치랑 뭐, 예, 마타 선수는 되게 맛있게 먹었거든요. 근데 오히려 비싼 음식은 마다하고 예, 그냥 자기 입맛에 맞는 뭐 햄버거, 치킨. 뭐 한국 음식 이런 걸로 네, 선수들이 좋아해서 많이 먹었습니다. So when they first got to Taiwan, they didn't know what anything was, so they couldn't find a restaurant. Um, him and the front office, they, um, the higher ups in Samsung, they have also come to. They kind of scouted the area to find Korean restaurants. They also found a Korean supermarket, which was good. But after a couple of days eating that, they realized they wanted to try something new. Um, they found a KFC. The boys are kind of picky. The hotel they stay at has this amazing buffet because Riot has put them up in a great, great hotel. But apparently Mata is the only one who really takes advantage of that and just eats his to his heart's content, uh, while the other ones are a little bit pickier, so they, they prefer the cheaper food, while Mata likes the expensive stuff. So that's a little bit of tidbit of information for you guys about the Samsung teams. If you want to be as good as Mata, you have to eat expensive food. I think that's the, the key. All right. So thank you very much for this interview. And uh, your teams are, well, next week we'll see Blue in yeah. Singapore. And um, you know, I, I hope that they do really, really well as well. And uh, we'll continue cheering for Samsung. And that'll be it for today. Thank you. Thank you.